Hi, everybody. Let's realign our chakras and amplify energy in every energy center that we have. We're going to start with root chakra. Our root chakra is located in the perineum behind our sex organs. And it is our first chakra. It's uh, associated with color red. Uh, you can also um, apply a brown or black here as well. And this root chakra is uh, responsible for us feeling grounded, secure, uh, with a sense of belonging and safety, and it is compromised by fear. And so the way you can physically, by engaging your body to align root chakra is by stomping your feet, by walking, anything that you will find enjoyable and grounding. But we will start with hitting our heels into the floor. And to make it even more powerful, add this to the stumping. With strength and conviction sort of a saying that you are strong, you are powerful, just where you stand. Your legs are strong, like the strong roots of a tree planted, making you feel strong, safe, protected, and grounded. So we'll start there. Then we're going to move up to our sexual chakra, which is two fingers below our belly button right under your belly button. That is your sexual chakra. It is orange in color, and it's associated with our sexuality, creativity, our relationship with money, right? And so we activate this chakra or amplify its energy by moving our hips, by belly dancing, by remaining flexible especially in our hips and our legs and this chakra is compromised by predominantly guilt uh, and shame but guilt as in guilty pleasure and so when we're not creative when we're stifling our creativity when we don't have a good relationship with sex and money it will be compromised and you'll feel it you'll feel first of all you'll start to gain weight in your belly sort of protecting yourself from the world and the world from you and your shameful parts of yourself so maybe try to let go of some of this and move your belly in any way you can this is my favorite <laughs> sort of bringing in the energy into the sexual chakra and with strength and conviction yeah yeah increasing that energy flow i am receiving i'm allowing i'm allowing to receive this energy of pleasure and fire within me creating because if i don't create with the sexual energy and let it out it will become destructive energy in thoughts and in actions. And then we're going to move up now that we're strong and powerful with roots diving deep into Mother Earth, powerfully standing where we are, accepting our sexuality and moving upwards this energy into the solar plexus, our powerhouse. How do I make money? What actions do I take? Right? How do I feel about money? And now how do I do? What do I do? This is our self-esteem, our self-worth. This is how I make choices in my career and my uh, job. Do I like where I am? Am I hating my job? And so a lot of people will get middle back pain associated with compromised social solar plexus chakra. And so here you can try to do twists just on their own to get this moving, but also make sure you're breathing. 
You're not holding your breath. You can engage your arms. Just let them hang like this naturally. By the way, if you start slapping yourself like this, it's very good to wake up your lymphatic system, not just energy system, which are basically interconnected. So just move, let the arms swing from side to side. This also helps with anxiety because our anxiety and our intuition resides around solar plexus. So until you learn to, to kind of differentiate between your anxiety and your intuition this helps to calm whatever it is you're feeling that is less than relaxing right so we're going and this is color yellow so any color yellows remember how we prompt the sexual energy yeah, yeah. here we can do the same with fire <sighs> I call this solar pump. And so we pump the energy of the sun. You can do that outside too, like and actually direct the actual energy of the sun into your solar plexus, your internal sun, by pumping in that energy. And you're focusing on the inhales, not on the exhales. Be mindful, you might feel a little lightheaded. So. <sighs> Feel the warmth from inside. Ignite the light within. This is an element of fire. The element of water is our sexual energy, and the element of earth is our root. So we're rooted into earth, and we're feeling our feelings through the water and flexibility. And now we're pumping the fire to keep going. So the bottom three kind of form our base, our foundation. So when they're compromised and imbalanced, we're going to feel fearful, not willing to let go, not wanting to move forward, feeling unmotivated, stagnant, and just not sexual uh, in any way, protecting ourselves, not wanting to feel vulnerable, and driven by just our guilt and shame over things we did and shouldn't have done or over the things we said we were going to do but didn't. Let's let go and encourage our bodies to move and move this energy, that stuck energy out of our body so we're feeling strong with our root chakra and we're feeling sexual, ready to give and receive pleasure, not just sexually, just enjoying life in general. See where your pleasure and excitement is. And it could be from the smallest things to the largest. So we're trying to move a little more flexible and we're pumping in the fire of, all right, I know where I stand. I feel like I know what I want and now I'm going to do it and I'm going to move forward and connect to our hearts and our hearts is everything this is the bridge between the heaven and earth between material world and the spiritual world we connect it at the heart with the air element and here is of course our love for ourselves and the world compassion for self and others if it's compromised you feel undeserving, unloving, and you hate the world. And you also do things either with love or you don't. And you know exactly what that feels like. And so we open our hearts, whichever way you want, either with an intention, moving our arms, or stretching, and breathing. Breathing through the whole thing. I open my heart to myself and the world. And it's usually compromised by heaviness, by sorrow, unprocessed guilt, things we continue to wallow in, making us heavy, caved in, vulnerable, too much. So open. Allow yourself to receive and give love freely. And so we breathe, we open, and then we move up to our throat chakra, which is clear or light blue, and it is self-expression. It is how we speak, how we think, how we write, how we express ourselves. And it could also 
mean healing because we can heal not just with our touch but with our words right singing humming whispering hissing anything so best way i find to activate and open this chakra wide is doing this <sighs> open as wide as you can open this channel <sighs> the element of spirit from here on the last three chakras are of element of spirit and this is already connection to the divine to the source to god to universe where we receive information um we channel all day long so how we speak how we think what we see how we interpret things based on what we see and perceive will determine what we create in life what vibrations we give off how do you speak to yourself all day long so <sighs> you can also combine it into this take your uh, fists push it into uh, your kidney area open and sort of intend for everything that's stagnant in to pump up and come out like a freaking fountain so go feel the difference yeah so here we opened a path to seeing next one is the third eye the one that we all know third eye intuition psychic abilities right here your throat is right here in this indentation right next to thyroid now we have the third eye in between your eyebrows and this is our connection with the psychic world with our abilities intuition with oneness of the universe and so this is fairly simple i just like to do this action sort of creating or visualizing or knowing if you can't visualize just know that this is happening for you when you do this sort of establishing a pathway sort of like an establishing a beam out of your third eye some people like to tap it you can tap you can tap any of your chakras by the way and activate them this way see what feels right for you and so you can tap it right or massage it or establish a pathway <sighs> i am connected i trust my intuition i am ready and open for my psychic abilities i am not afraid i let go of delusions and illusions in my throat i let go of lies and i open myself to honesty and self-expression I don't stifle my creativity neither do i hide it in my closet i am open to giving it to the world for the world to see what a creative beautiful person that i am and in my third eye i open myself up to the magical world behind the veil to the unseen i am connected i am not this just one human walking around in this meat suit I am a spiritual divine being walking in this sacred meat suit, expressing myself as this human and experiencing the spiritual path. And the last but not least is our crown chakra. And this is what I like to do because it's connection to the divine, to the universe, to the source, to God, and is white or violet in color. It's sort of like, first of all, imagining that there is a uh, a line kind of attached to the bottom of my skull and it's spooling me up so my spine is straight because our chakras are located along the spine and so my spine is straight or as straight as it can be my head is straight my chin is slightly in and my back of my skull is up out and up so it's like be, like a puppet uh, being pulled by a string from the back. So I'm aligned. I'm, and so I, I breathe in. And as I breathe out, I reach up, up, up. One at a time. Or both at the same time. 
and I uh, stand up on my tippy toes. <sighs> if you can, or just go one at a time. No need to injure yourself. This should be pleasant and enjoyable. So I reach, reach, reach. Yes, to the source. <sighs> yes. So let's repeat it all together. And breathe and feel the warmth rise up, the energy coming up for you. Feel where you feel any aches and pains because your body will signal you what's going on, where the disbalance is. This will take an, only a few seconds, a couple of minutes, really, really quickly, going up, 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 and then after you're done, you breathe out and you can imagine that you're enveloped in a blue bubble of protection. So you're ready to take over the world and uh, face your day. And we bring it back to our front, to our hara, to our hara line. And we stand here and we feel what changed. You should feel awake at this point, awake, energized, and ready for the day. I hope you enjoy. Take care.